light strategy is responsible for the probability of sampling a particular light source. Uniform strategy will split computing power equally among the light sources. So if you are rendering a car scene, car lights will get the same amount of attention as the sun lamp. This method is usable only if you want to have full control over the lighting by manually tweaking each light importance. By even power distribution, render can get noisier as the engine is not focusing power where it is most needed. To solve this problem we have two more light strategies that are similar. First one is power. This is a linear adaptation of light importance according to its power. What means that if the light is stronger, it will get more attention from the render engine. So if you have two lights in the scene and the first one strength is 0.2 and the second one is 0.4, 66% of the power will be assigned to calculate second light source. But scenarios when one light source will be a lot brighter than the rest is also quite common. Imagine that second light source is not 0.4 but 2. In this case, more than 90% of the focus will be on the second light. This situation happens very often when you are using the HDRI sky. The difference between the brightest point and the average may be huge. To compensate this, we can use log power. This is a logarithmic function of power and you probably already understand how it works. It will still focus on the brightest point, but it will reserve some power for darker sources not allowing to concentrate 99% of the power on one light. As the effect, calculation power will be assigned to the lights in more adequate way. After the calculation of the samples, engine must decide which samples correspond to which pixel. This is the function of the filter. Blackman-Harris filter is used by default. It blurs slightly the image, so it allows edges to be more smooth and natural. The only control we have is filter width. The low values will get sharper results and higher will smooth the noise. Another possibility is Mitchell filter, which is similar to Blackman Harris. It is a little bit sharper, but when using this filter, we can have sometimes problem with the black artifacts around the edges. Filter width work the same way as in the previous example. Gaussian filter will give the blurriest effect, so it will be the most effective in case of getting rid of the fireflies. Gaussian filter alpha is an additional value to control filter strength. Lower values will make the image more blurry. The last option is not to use filter at all. If you need to optimize your render and you are using GPU, this solution may be the best for you as it will give the fastest results. These topics are done, but if you need any additional information, feel free to ask. If it was enough for you, leave the like and check the following video.